chickadees! My name is Sierra Jill and welcome back to Owlboy. A huge explosion, a city got destroyed, a perfect little town got destroyed, and then Owlboy just got picked up after that huge commotion. And if you guys already know, I know whose house this is. I think it's Mandolin's house. Remember the little cute little girl with the the pots and everything, and she's got playing ukulele or mandolin. Her name is Mandolin. And then she's like outside with that tree on front. The little lady that we actually met in the, I think either the, yeah, first and second episode. I think she's out here. I think she could be out here or somebody else. We don't know. But I have a feeling this is her house. If it's not somebody else's. That looks like Mandolin's house. It's Mandolin. I would thought so. Hi, Mandolin. What's going on? Otis. You're awake! I'm so happy you're okay. You're all- you were all beaten up when I found you! Oh, this is all so horrible. Those poor people from Advent! We're taking as many refugees as we can! Yeah, it's definitely not looking good up there. Hey! They actually came back! Strix and everything else! Oh, let's see if Solas came back. We're all doing what we can, but... Well, I didn't read your last text. Sorry! Asio's out by the lookout point is just- Oh, he's- He's been there for days, and he doesn't speak to anyone. Maybe he'll talk to you, Otis. I, I can't speak. Otis is mute. But you know what? I'll lend a, an open wing, an open hand to say, to always listen to a uh, teacher, or I guess to him. Would you mind checking up on him over there? Yeah, I might as well check- I'll just call him Asio. I don't know what to call you anymore. At this rate, I worry he might end up leaving the village other than his name. Oh. And Getty, he's, um, yeah. He's down by the, the, is he? Graveyard. No. No. He's in the pirate ship. He wouldn't be there. I guess our village has one of those now. He can't be there. Uh-uh, I don't believe it. We've located it below the village down there. Oh, that must be new. Mm-hmm. An unlocked place that they must have just opened. Oh, Otis, it's as if the village has lost all of its colors and brightness. Definitely. I hope everything will turn out all right. It will. Look up to every silver lining. Everything will be better. There's even no music. This is... Oh, yeah, the only music you're... Oh, did you? Oh, that was probably her mandolin. The beep, beep, beep. I thought I heard, like, some weird noises. You know what, though? Yeah, that's probably her. You know what? Some good old berry. Berry juice will cheer you up. Oh, shoot! I just wanted to grab the freaking berry. I'm sorry, mandolin. You don't mind, right? I mean, hey, we're, fr we're friends. Neighbors. Here. How about I grab this? Grab it. Gra Otis, just grab it. He's so weak. He can't even grab it because he's been in the ho uh, now hospital. Mandolin's house so long time. Mandolin, would you like to have some berry juice with me? Mm -hmm. It'll be a good pick me up. Again, we're the story's not gonna end here. It's still continuing forward. Um, Asio or the graveyard? Oh, hey, can I talk to you? Mm hmm. Hello. Hi, guten tag. Buenos dias, if it's morning. Um, buenos, good. <laughs> hey, can- Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna talk to my drummer. My drummer fellow! Whoa! Hey, you're new! Hold on a moment, I gotta see my friends first before I actually start talking to some new people. Hey, drummer guy, or bongo? Bongo! Yes, I knew it! Glad to see you're safe, little Otis. Heard you were very brave in Advent. Don't push yourself too hard. Thank you, bongo. Love you. Oh, just play bongo as you. And then I'm gonna start talking to this person. Hey, you're taking a snooze. Oh, maybe I shouldn't wake her up. <laughs> uh, don't do that again, please. I haven't slept properly since the pirate attacked. I wish I had a bed. There's a nice bench right behind you. You could just, you know, lay down there. It's not the comfiest, but I mean, you could definitely sleep on that better than having to sleep up. Okay, maybe I'll wait till you're actually awake and I'll to get to talk to you better. Hey, this guy's just always in the tub, though. Isn't he part snake? Like, the bottom half of him was just, like, literally like a slug. He could be a slug. I mean, I'm part owl. We have what to do we can, Otis. We have to calm down and do what we can. 
Are you part animal or something? Part weird or something? Clear your mind, young, and these are dark times. Mm-hmm. Talk. Otis! Glad to see you're awake. Gunny's right here somewhere. Probably by the graveyard. Shush, he's not dead. I, I don't know for a fact, but I mean, it wouldn't be that dark. Gunny was back on the pirate ship. They probably made it like an unnamed, well, it would be a named grave because it has Getty's name on it, but it's probably empty. The grave, that is. Oh, hey, I'm seeing a bunch of new people. You don't look, I mean, I shouldn't be judgmental. I'll just talk to you. My beautiful house in Edmund is lost. Oh, these are some of the new people from right, because Mandolin said they they rescued some new people, so these are people from Advent. Okay, that's why there's so many new people. My arrival and my paintings. Oh, yeah, my trippy made it out. Oh, I'm glad that your little birdie trippy made it out. Sorry if your paintings can't. Hey, how are we doing on supplies? Um, this is all there is, Sir Strix. This is it? This village supplies won't even last a week. Preposterous. Azio has done a lackluster job here at best. We need to start up planning a long-term solution for all the Advent's refugees. Comfort is secondary. Survival is priority. Hmm. Yes, sir. All right, then. He's taking care of things. Good job. You're doing a fantastic work. Even if it's stressing you out, you're doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good spirits, even though stuff's really stressful right now. Hey, can I talk to you? Hey, you guys saw me last time in the first area. Like, pessimist. You're a little trickster, aren't you? I guess they're just not gonna... Have it with me. I am the great Master Strix, and I am smart, strong, and fantastic. Oh, no, the boys. Oh, he actually admires him. And I'm Ossia, and I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, wait, I got another one. Um, um, I'm Ossia, and I'm a, a incompetent. Extremely incompetent. <laughs> Maybe they look up to him. I'm not sure. They seem to just be bullies either way. Ah. Uh, Hey now, look who it is! Oh man, it's Scary Cat Otis. You would have done the same thing if you were in my position. I heard he was bravely locked up by his mentor during the attack. Hmm, and that he bravely fainted during the commotion. I haven't none of this yet. <laughs> Not everyone is out to make a different, different Spanachi. But, oh, that's what's his name. That's right, at least we got a crate of food out of Evan before it was too late. I forgot their names. I just call them bullies, because that's what they are. Strix even gave us a guard duty over these supplies. We're the best. Yeah, so be it, Otis. We've got this taken care of. Valley will become a much better place from now on. It was a better place. It was would have been better if this never happened. What are you guys talking about? Oh. Am I still in the town? Hey, Professor, I'm glad you're here. Oh, how's it going? Hey there, boy. <laughs> that counterattack on the pirates didn't go so well, huh? I suppose I blame for th I'm to blame for that as well. Don't beat yourself over it. We have to think about the future now. Mm-hmm. Think about the future? See what we can do better? Can I? Nope. I don't think I even want to go inside. I just want to see people before I either visit the graveyard or Asya. I'm going to visit Asya first before I see something as dark as going to a graveyard. That's probably going to... Really bring down the mood for Otis, and I don't want to do that yet. Professor's probably in here just scrambling with papers. Or he's not in here at all. Can I get something secret in here? Maybe pick up a wrench? No. I wonder how Alphonse is doing. I can't bring, I can't bring him up. Is it E? I? Shoot. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. Thought I'd at least give it a look. Yeah, was this... Was this thing here? Maybe they moved the uh, islands around to accommodate to the people that actually now have gotten to Veli. Alright then, that would make sense. Talk to you. Let's see if there's any more new faces around Delo here. Can I even go... Hey, you're at Getty's gun. You better make it look spiffy and nice. Ah, yeah. Don't even talk to me. Yeah, I'll take very good care of it. Mm. Oh. Uh, nice pair of scissors you got. Hi, bro. My name is Pip. What's your name? Oh. Can't talk, huh? Mm. That's fine. I can do that. Wings language. I'll just call you bro. Oh, bro. 
Hey, I like that name. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Nice to meet you, Al, bro. Aw, she's... If it's a he and or a she, they're pretty cool looking or pretty nice. Thank I meant to say that. They're cute and cool looking. Uh, sorry, Professor, I just wanted to spin around you. Confound it! I can't make any sense of it! The only thing that pirates seem to have disturbed here in Valley is the ruin! What are you talking about yet? They destroyed Advent in minutes. If only our plan had worked, the pirates would have been stopped. Giddy says the wind machine has never been active. Then, how come the islands are still shifting? No matter, the pirate threat is far greater. They didn't miss this, did they? Examine. No. I mean, it looks the same. I can't remember what it looked like before, but I mean, it was still ruins. It was still... Were, was he minting the Owl Temple? I'm not going to talk to him again. I want to keep on moving forward, see what's different, what's new, and what kind of people I can actually talk to. Maybe some tips of what's actually going on. Maybe even run to a stray pirate. This looks like actually Otis. Why am I a scarecrow? Ah. You know what? You, you dress me as a scarecrow, I'll eat all your vegetables. Oh wait, maybe you should conserve. Okay, I'll just eat two. It's not like I'm going into battle anyways. Hello, birds. Bird birds. Nothing, Oh. Alphonse, wait. Yeah, I can't destroy this unless Getty or Alphonse is right here. I have no help. I have no friends. My all my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. Oh, maybe there's something in my house. Getty! No. <laughs> oh, maybe I can drink some tea though, or some. So my my turnip tea. Ah, uh, makes me feel better. That doesn't really do anything. I just thought might as well just come inside. I would like to see Getty's hat, though, the one that that lady took on that hook. If she didn't take it, then I was probably going to be hanging it up there, so Otis didn't have to drag that around with him. Nothing? Nothing over here? No new faces? Wait, is that? No. That's closed off. So which, I'm not gonna go in the direction yet, but which direction is the, this way, which I'm not gonna go yet. Okay, Osio, how about you and me just have a little bit of a pep, 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 rock in my face. How about we just have a little bit of a, a pep, pep talk? A nice, oh gosh darn it, I'm eating more rocks. How about we have a nice little chat, a quiet chat? Mm-hmm, a relaxing, look at the sunset, how pretty it is. Ain't it nice? Yeah, that you never talk to me. Or you're just gonna talk very loudly at me. A disaster. Advent destroyed. Pirates roaming free. And the professor comes and tells me that the ruins holding the relic was opened. If the pirates gather all the relics, then we are all doomed. And with Advent gone, we can't stop them. You keep talking to yourself. Otis, you're here, are you? Leave me. No, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to see you here again. Oh. No, Otis, don't. No, just go and see him. Don't, don't even listen to him. Come for him. Leave me, Otis. No, I don't want, I don't want to see you here again. Stop being a meanie. I'm trying to help you. Clearly, I can't talk to you, but come on. Can't we just, like, have a special bonding moment? And just look out? Fine. You just want to be a grumpy old man and just sulk over your want? Look, listen to your own thoughts in your head? Which is going to make you go crazy. I mean, it's already... What? Psst. Alphonse! Master Otis! I must not be seen here, but we must talk. Shh, quiet now. Mm, these are nice rhymes. Let's meet up in your house. Yes, we can talk there in private. All right then. Well, hopefully you're gonna shed some light. Maybe something good's gonna happen. I mean, other than you are the good news. Ah, uh, seeing you again. Shh, don't wake her up. She's still sleeping. No, nope. quiet as a mouse. No, there's nobody here. I'm not having any guests over. My teapot is like my guest. Yep, 
my teapot, and I'm gonna. Who wants a fresh turnip tea? I can make some that. Did I pass the house? Nope. Ah, there it's up there. I'm just gonna enter my house nonchalantly. Hey! Welcome, Master Otis. I wanted to speak with you and Getty. I think it is time to discuss a few things. And I also thought you might both need someone to talk to. Wait a minute, both? Are you feeling all right, Master Otis? I can see that your wounds have recovered, but not every hurt can be patched up just like that. Oh, I am sorry, Otis. Feel free to stay here with me if you want to a break. Like I said, Getty's not dead, so he's probably out there. That's why Alphonse is just like, I'll talk to you when you're here. Nah, I'll see you later. He's prob he's probably at why would he be in his graveyard? Mm, maybe to make it private? I don't know. To not know like people know that he's alive, but again, that wouldn't make sense. Why would you not want to know that the people that really care about you that know that you're alive? Unless he's targeted. Get Getty! If you're targeted, I'll save you! I'm coming! If that's the case, again, I'm just only guessing. Solus! Hey! Hey, bud. Oh, God. Th this is too much. I can't believe it, Otis. Everything has gone wrong. I can't stay here in Valley. It's been nice to know you, Otis. Why? Goodbye. I don't think we'll see each other again. What's going on? Solus! What just the fuck just happened? Solus, what the? Solus, what'd you do? Solus, what'd you do? Aha! I knew it! Getty? Why are you looking so glam, chum? So glam, buddy, chum. Oh, you're just... You're not dead! You're right here with me! Don't be so sad! Otis, it's him. Unless all of the gunners always look the same. Maybe. But Otis would recognize him. Why are you so sad? So many lives lost. Oh, he's probably sad because of all the people that died. It's not just... He's probably happy inside that Getty's alive, but sad that people so many lost. Okay. I understand. I... I can't believe this happened. I was right there. And I couldn't help. None of the things we, accom we accomplished mattered at all. We were doing so great, and yet, this is how it all turned out. We didn't... We failed them. No. We have failed them all. We're not stopping. Getty, perk up your smile. Come on. Come on, Otis. Go up to him. If you're not gonna hug and give him a pat, I miss it. Otis, oh, I miss it so much. Even though we never got to fully experience Advent... It's streets, it's culture, the people. We never got to see how it all turned out. Otis. Did we try hard enough? And I, I... I don't know if I can go back there, Otis. To Advent? Or Veli? Come on, buddy. You're- don't- don't turn Aussie on me! Don't turn me away! Do you think it makes any difference what we do from, from now on? Our future is lost! Our capital is completely gone! This is depressing. Think about it. The pirates destroyed Advent this easily- I mean, it is depressing. What are we to do? I- I, I don't feel like I belong in this village anymore. You bel- you belong here. Yes, you do. I've failed all of them. <sighs> Just want to give him a big hug. Is it okay if I stay here at your place? Yes. I need to get away from here. Of course, Getty. No hug? Okay. I mean, we're bros. Bros, not hoes. <laughs> we don't hug it out. We shake it out. And do it all about. That's what it all about. I'm trying to lighten the spirit. That's... I don't want to make this episode so sad. You're going to make me cry. Otis, come on. Be glad. Be happy. Positivity grows. You away. I mean, it is. I shouldn't, like... Okay. 
I'm not trying to be positive to, like, mask the sadness of everything. It is very sad. This type of subject of matters of people's deaths, people passing away, or war, it is a very serious matter. The way I'm acting, maybe I should have toned it down a bit, but the way I'm acting is that you should never give up. Even how sad and glum it is, yes, you can come in and just feel it. Just feel that you're very sad and it's okay, but don't let it consume you. Never let the sadness, never let you being upset over someone passing away or something that just dark very happened or a war. Just not, I'm not saying to move on with it. You can keep it inside you, but, and not let it consume you. That's the part is just let it be a part of you that you've learned from what's happening and that you get to not let it happen again. And it sometimes happens. History does has repeated itself, but if it's in a good way, then make it better. Grow strong from it. Do what you can. And I understand, Otis. I understand, Getty, that they're very sad, but... And I understand this is a game. That's a part of it where I try to put the humor and the lighten it up of it. That it will get better. We are the game, guys. We are the characters. It will get better. Just stay strong no matter how dark it looks. Even from how Otis is in his standpoint. He's just in his little wings, tucked in and everything. Never give up. There's always something that can just brighten up. Even if it's like you're in a dark position, just think of something happy. Think of flowers. Think of birds. Think of this video. If, if it's not going to be something that you may or may not like, just think of a happy smile. Just, you know, something that's actually going to make you feel a little better better. Because that's just going to make you a lot more stronger is happy thoughts. When's going to sad thoughts actually going to make you stronger? Yeah. Oh, Master Otis, Master Getty. Yes, Getty's still kind of glum, but you know what? I'm just going to twiddle my thumbs. Forgive me for hiding in your home, Otis. Nah, you're fine, man. You're my bud. It would be do, do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with a former pirate. Mm, especially after what has happened. Advent is destroyed, and there is... Uh, excuse me. I ate some of the turnips. Nothing we can do to stop it. Molstrom and the pirates... Why would they do such a thing? They don't know. It's okay. Alphonse? Is there something you're not telling us? Maybe. Alphonse! If you know something, anything, that can aid us against Molstrom, it might help us prevent yet another attack on Valley. Ooh, that's a bit... You are most certainly right, Master Giddy. Molstrom... The pirates and myself. We were all created by the owls. Created? What are you talking about, man? What? Your mentor is right, Otis. Molstrom is gathering ancient owl relics, and when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. Hmm. I will tell you what I know. What? What's it? Oh, no one knows what our original purpose was. Likely we were merely servants for the owls. Wow, what? Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for the specific function. We were expected to optimize. We could constantly improve our ability to carry out our function. But as you know, the ancient owls and what remained of our cities all but vanished. Without their guidance, we continued our tasks blindly for centuries. Metal Man. Most of greatest amongst the war units. Rampage. That's what Bonanza mentioned. Built for war and always needs something for something to destroy. No one could oppose him. Those of us who didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. Molstrom took us to the sky and gave us a new name. Pirates. Within as our captain, we roamed the sky, growing ever more powerful, until at last the captain heard of the relics. Oh, okay. That's making more sense. The relics are artifacts of terrible power, remnants of the ancient owls at their peak. The Molstrom, their power is irre irresistible. Captain Molstrom has found two relics. One that has was hidden in Valley, and the other in Advent. 
The one that we have. One of them at least. He has the other one. Does Alphonse know? Wait, so you're saying the pirates destroyed Avan just to get to the relic? Cause we can teleport! Yes, Metro Getty, and now only one remains. How weird would it if he didn't know that we- he already knows that we actually teleport stuff. If he gets the third and final relic, I'm afraid Molstrom will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but... I admit, I am hesitant. My suggestion to try to stop the pirates and Avid put your lives in danger. Perhaps it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. The pirates are threatening Veli! We have to try and stop them! Yeah! What happened in Avid wasn't your fault! I screwed up most of it. Uh, my sole duty was to protect us from the pirates. All of us. We're a team. If we don't attack, fight back against the pirates, I can't even make things right. The pirates next to the destination will be ruined, called the Floating Continent. In an ancient owl structure there, the owls hit the last relic that Molstrom needs. Does he know? Does Molstrom know? We must leave v Valley and fly up into the Strato. That is where we will find the floating continent. Then we should have go to Strato now! It's the only way we can solve, save Veli! I shall be in hiding here until you get out of the village. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright, Otis, are you ready? Yep, let's go! Alright. <sighs> wow. A little bit long of a series. I think that's just because, like, back to back there is the fight scene, and then... A big thing. I should have actually just kind of paused it there before going into the story, but it makes it really good cliffhanger. Because if we just talk to Alphonse, he just tells us a really long history and story of what actually he is. So he's made of metal. Is he full metal? He looks like it in a way, because we can't really see what's underneath all that clothing. But that is interesting. He's full machinery and he knows about it. But I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a punch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!